all right guys welcome back and in this video we're finally gonna start learning some cool functions the very first one let's just go ahead and jump right into it is today so anytime you want to insert the current date hit equals today it pops up when you start typing it it takes no parameters and hit enter now of course today is 11 5 14 now actually I got a story to tell but first before I tell you guys this story I want to mention this this date function right here it's dynamic and whenever I say that I mean whenever you close whenever you save this program and open it up tomorrow it's not gonna say 11 5 it's gonna say 11 6 so just remember that for this function so it's not really good let's say you like wanna log um, when your employees came into work don't use today because it's not gonna work properly so when would you want to use this say you're making an invoice and every time you print it out you want to print the current date that's um, a good example of when you would use this function so now that we got that boring stuff out of the way let me tell you about my story so today is 11 5 it's 3 a.m. it just turned on um, the 5th but yesterday was election day and I didn't know it because I really hate politics and uh, I'm not I don't know I probably should worry about that stuff but I got other stuff to do so I wasn't really paying attention to what day it was because I really didn't care and I went to get Chinese food and the guy, um, the guy I picked up my food and he goes happy erection day I go erection day what the <laughs> and I walked out I'm like okay and then I saw someone um, on Bucky's room talking about election day I'm like okay thank god he wasn't I can actually go back and get Chinese food but you know what do you guys care about my Chinese foodie and experience you guys just care about Excel so let's talk about Excel a little bit more now anytime you want to autofill dates you can do it the same way that you autofill something like numbers so actually if we copy this then it's just gonna copy the same date because it's copying the formula I'll show you guys real quick but whenever we type in a date manually so say we manually typed in 11 5 2014 and then we try to fill in some more cells what it's gonna do is it's gonna increment by one day at a time so the increment of one day is the default increment but sometimes we don't wanna autofill by one day we wanna um, increment by like maybe a week or maybe one month so 12 5 and then which would be the next month was 1 5 2015 so how do we change the increment well one cool thing that we can do instead of dragging with the left mouse button if you actually hold down the right mouse button and I know I this is gonna look the same but I'll click the right mouse button start dragging and then release whenever you release it's gonna give you a new pop-up menu fill days this is how it filled by default before fill weekdays fill months and fill years so I'll go ahead and select fill months that sounds like some guy's name fill months be a pretty cool name if you know he was in Excel so man my jokes are just getting worse aren't they but anyways whenever I select that then it says okay you want to increment by months instead and of course if you select another option it'll fill by whatever you selected but I don't need to demonstrate that now another thing that I want to actually demonstrate is this so let me type in like I don't know um, Four, eight, uh, 1990. I'll say that's just a random date, and of course, today's date might as well use 11 5 2014. So, let me go ahead and say that I don't know. So, I was calculating someone's age, and they were born on 4 8 1990. Actually, let me say this is birthday, and this is today. All right so say that we wanted to calculate the age of this person so of course what we do is we would pretty simple make an equal sign for a formula um, okay so this is his birthday and of course to get the age you just subtract so okay birthday minus today gives you the age hit enter okay so he is 8977 days old but we have a little problem here and that is whenever 
of course, we work with time. Since Excel is converting this to a number behind the scenes, it gives us a negative number. Now we know that time can't be negative, so any time you try to subtract dates and you get this problem, you actually want to use the absolute value um, function, and that is this. ABS, and I actually don't even know if I told you guys about this function yes, yet, but this gives you the absolute value of whatever calculation is inside the parameters. So even though this calculation turns out to be a negative number, whenever we throw in the absolute, gives us a positive number. So make sure you always use absolute whenever you're subtracting dates just to make sure. And another cool thing is this. If you ever just want to get um, the actual kind of the age that human beings think of it instead of just a stupid Excel format, like for example, how many years old is this guy? Instead of like, we don't care how many days he is, who talks in that language, what we can do is this. Make a new formula and set it equal to year of the first date minus year of the second date and what this does is it basically this this uh, function right here year it takes whatever date is in the parameter and it extracts the year from it so it's pretty much saying 2014 minus 1990 and that would give you a date that you more expect you know um, kind of more humanized year so what's another thing that I can teach you guys um, this is actually going to come in handy a lot. Whenever we have, I'll just show you guys the basics of this right now. And it's not really going to make sense right here, but we're typically going to do it whenever we reference other cells. But what we can do is toss in three values in this date function, and it's going to convert those values or integers to a date. So we'll say 2008. Um, I don't know, just something like 12, 3. What it does is it takes three integers, hit enter, and it converts it to a date. Now again, instead of just typing the values in, because if we were going to type something in, we might as well just, you know, add the forward slash and make it a date. This is going to come in handy whenever we have cells with three integers in it. Say someone was filling out a form and this is how our data is formatted. We can just reference those other cells. So something like this. Date E1. And now hit enter and check it out. So that's when it would come in handy. Again, that's the date formula. So, holy crap, this video is getting kind of long. What? Oh, oh yeah, I wasted all that time on the stinking Chinese food story or whatever. All right. So I'll save the rest of the date and time functions for the next tutorial. And, uh, well, yeah, see you then.